The story starts here, at the Munich Hauptbahnhof, on a Monday morning at the end of August 2022. The long summer holidays were coming to an end, but I had a day and a half free to escape to Rote. The town of Rote, population 25,000, is 150 kilometres north of Munich. The plan was to take the train to Nuremberg and then ride the 30 kilometres to Rote. I like German trains, they're fast, spacious, and you can sit in the restaurant and get a drink in a real glass. They also have plenty of room for bikes, although you do have to buy a six euro bike ticket and book ahead. Once in Nuremberg, I headed south, out the back of the station, along this neat red cycle lane. And then, after about five kilometers, down to the water, through a tunnel, and onto the famous gravel towpath. If you haven't guessed by now, the purpose of my visit was to look up some triathlon stuff and work out my supporting logistics for when I come back in June to support my brother. It will be his second time racing Challenge Rote. I also did the race in 2008. It rained the whole day, but I'd done enough panic training to enjoy the experience. The Rote Triathlon was started in 1984 by Detlef Kunil. Back then, it was called the Franken Triathlon, and the distances were 700 metres, 40 kilometres, and 10 kilometres. The race took place on the 22nd of September, and there were 83 starters. In 1987, the race hosted the European Middle Distance Championships. The winners were British athletes Sarah Coop and Glenn Cook. That day, Glenn Cook became the first triathlete to use Scott DH Aero Bars in Europe. 1988 was the first year the race was an Ironman franchise. Valerie Silk, the owner of Ironman, had attended the event the year before and was impressed with the organisation. The winners of this first Ironman Germany were Rita Keitermann and Axel Kernders. Kernders recorded the fastest Ironman time ever up to that point, with 8.13.11. In 2002, Ironman took their race to Frankfurt, and Rote became Challenge Rote. My first stop was at Rotzi to cool off. This beautiful lake is 10 kilometers outside of town. I used to think that some of the early Rote triathlons started here, but the grainy footage from the video I just showed you proves that's not the case. However, the Rotzi triathlon has been held here since 1989. After a short swim, I cycled into Rote along some of the bike course. I found the Stad Park, where the race village and finish line get set up every year, and the event headquarters. It was late afternoon by now, and I'd cycled about 70 kilometers in total for the day. So I stopped into a pub before finding my accommodation for the night. I stayed at the Dormero in the town center, highly recommended if you're in route outside of race week. On the way home the next morning, I checked out the entrance to the Rote Outdoor Swimming Pool, where athletes swim in race week. I'll also be doing a triathlon there on the Friday of race weekend this year. Then the run course 18 kilometer turnaround point on my way back to Nuremberg train station. That left me just the last 10 kilometers home from Munich station. 